Are you a professional who wants to become a more effective leader? Then get ready for daily tips from the coach with the experience and inspiration to help you succeed in any leadership situation. You're listening to the Meeting Leadership Podcast with Gordon Shepard. Welcome to another episode of the Meeting Leadership Podcast. Now, if you're a leader who listens to this podcast so you can up your game, then you're going to get a lot out of today's show. That's because today we're going to talk about how successful leaders win with nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in a, a small meeting setting, say at work, maybe you're in a volunteer setting, maybe you're even at home with your family. You know that it's super important for every leader who wants to make a valuable impact on the people who follow them to really understand how to use this skill. And one of the best ways to learn about this is to bring in the experts. And today we've got the big guns, because today you're going to hear from Lauren Sergi, a communication expert with uh, just a wide variety of experience that she's bringing to senior leaders all over the world. And I just want to give you a heads up, because of course, when I talked to Lauren, she had so much to deliver that I ended up splitting this episode into two parts. And today in part one... Lauren will talk about the importance of nonverbal communication and the fact that it is often emotionally driven. And she's also going to give you a bunch of tools that you can throw right into your leadership toolbox and implement them right away. And then tomorrow, she's going to share practical tips on specifics like how to use your posture when you are communicating nonverbally. And with all of that in mind, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Here's the wonderful interview with Lauren Sergi. Lauren Sergi did so well over there on episode 19, did so well as my colleague, did so well as a friend, and I absolutely have to be letting people know about the high impact that Lauren's making every time she walks in the room. It doesn't matter, again, as a colleague when we're getting together. She's doing it with her students, helping leaders to grow with their public speaking. I don't mean to go on and on because these are short episodes, but Lauren, welcome to the show. I'm blushing, Gord. Thank you. (laughs) Blushing is a good thing, (laughs) and we'll keep that rolling. And, you know, I was describing a few things about you, but when you explain yourself to people, what do you say? Uh, I tell them that I am on this planet to help organizations, teams, and especially senior leaders become more effective, more powerful, more confident communicators. And I know you're doing that now across North America. You're doing it on the yes. web. You're doing it in person. It's just uh, Lauren's one of these sort of shooting stars that people want to be in touch with. And the right reason to do that is because she's so effective at what she does. And that's why she's here. Today, uh, we talked before this episode about what the topic was going to be. And the topic is how successful leaders win with nonverbal communication. What's the first thing that you want senior leaders to know when you bring up this topic? I want them to know that the way we present ourselves, the way we interact with other people really, really matters. And these nonverbal communication aspects of the way we interact can have a deep and meaningful impact on how people feel about you and how they interpret the messages that you send. But if I'm slumping or I had no sleep or whatever, how do you help me to figure out how to maybe be aware of it and what I can do about it? What I do is I tie in nonverbal communication into overall communication strategy. So for me, it's not just it's not just about having charisma or, you know, having a lot of poise. Why do you need to have that poise? What impression is it that you need to make on the people who you are with? So I look at the emotions that people experience when we engage in nonverbal communication, because nonverbal communication is primarily emotion driven. But I figure out what emotions they need to be experiencing for me to have the impact I want and for my message to be received the way I want it to be received. This is real leadership strategy that you're digging into. And I love, I just want to unpack this for a second. So if I'm crossing my arms and I look stern But in my mind, the goal for the meeting that I'm trying to lead here is to transform people and and get them excited. That's the wrong combo. It is. And, you know, it's not the arm crossing here that would necessarily be a problem. Arm crossing is a really normal, comfortable human pose. It's the stern expression. We read each other's faces to understand what emotions are happening in the other person. And here's the fascinating thing is that audiences or people that you're speaking with take their emotional cues from you. 
So if you're demonstrating the wrong emotion that you want them to be feeling, then they're going to feel the wrong emotion as well. If you want them to feel inspired and lifted up and engaged, you need to show that through the face. So instead of having a flat expression or a stern expression, you'll want to raise your eyebrows just, just a little bit, like just a centimeter. Raise the eyebrows up a little bit. Think of your eyes as being open and interested and then relax your facial muscles so that you look comfortable around them. They'll see that and say, oh, they're interested, they're engaged. I should be too. And then they'll start to feel that way as well. This is largely subconscious. Like this is brainstem level thinking. <laughs> so that's why you want to strategize it in advance because it works so subtly, but it's so powerfully effective that, you know, to ignore it is like ignoring a critical tool in your toolbox that makes your life so much easier. When I hear the way that you're speaking and I know the level of work that you do, it's the difference between amateur coaching and Olympic level coaching, right? This thing of like, what do you, what do you, so you just said, raise your eyebrow a centimeter to get that across to somebody. If they actually grasped that and understood it, that would also prompt them to think about things like, like their posture, like their eye contact oh, yeah. and those kinds of things. Oh yeah. And like these, these cues that we think are so small or so subtle or nitpicky too nitpicky to worry about, they have such a profound effect that you do need to engage with them. And you know, that comparison to amateur athletics versus professional athletics really does matter because, you know, in, in athletics, they'll say that the, the difference between winning and losing is a fraction of a second. Well, with leadership, the difference between being effective and being ineffective can be a fraction of an emotion or a fraction of an expression, but they have a profound effect. You've just been listening to part one of How Successful Leaders Win with Nonverbal Communication. Our guest has been Lauren Sergi, who helps leaders just like you to become outstanding communicators. And I highly recommend that you stick around for part two of this interview tomorrow when Lauren's going to talk about a few important things that you can actually do. For example, she's going to give you a few ways to control your posture. She's also going to let you know about the fact that you can really choose how you want people to feel when it comes to utilizing nonverbal communication. And she's also going to let you know about a very special offer. It's called the Emotional Planning Worksheet, and it's going to be a highly valuable guide that leaders just like you can put into action right away. And don't worry if you're not near a pen and some paper right now, because I'll be putting all of that information and Lauren's contact information in the show notes. And you can easily find those show notes by going to meetingleadershipinc.com forward slash 35. And I also want to let you know that this episode of the Meeting Leadership Podcast is brought to you by the Meeting Leadership Academy. If you want to become an outstanding leader, if you want to be someone who runs highly effective meetings, this is the place to get great live training, great online training to do just that. Visit meetingleadershipinc.com forward slash academy to learn more. And as always, thanks for listening. And we'll see you tomorrow for part two of How Successful Leaders Win with Nonverbal Communication with our guest expert, Lauren Sergi. Thanks for listening to the Meeting Leadership Podcast. Be sure to subscribe for more strategies to help you become an outstanding leader. And don't forget to rate and review so we can bring you fresh content every day. We'll see you tomorrow, right here on the Meeting Leadership Podcast. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps it giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning.